Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can give permission to two users at the same time to have access to one part of your application or two user type. Let's say we have admin and we have author. What are author here? So what I am going to do is I am going to tell that only author and admin have access to this area of our application, but user do not have access. For now, you know this is the user table only admin has access so if i change the user type we are again uh, login as admin3 if i change the user type here for now we can we can change it here but let's change it to the author and save it yeah it's just save the file here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to developer component and then I will come back to user. If I come here, you know it does not display the file here because when it send a request, it does not take the, uh, the, the information from the server. That's why it does not display here. So if I refresh the page, it should show as a 404 page, something like this. For now, it is fine that we do not let them display stuff like this. But here is the point. I just want to give the author also permission to access this information plus the admin so how you can do this one in the server side what you can do is you can just come here and say get allow using the the authorizing function allow and denies here is how you can write this one in the controller if I copy this one here is our user controller you know in our index we have so far we have only one line of code that says authorize is admin only admin have access so what i can do is i can comment this part and i will write my if condition here here is my if condition okay i remove the comment and i will move the code here what we can say is we can say is just allow if the user is is admin we do not pass the post here this is going to say if the user is admin this this line of code is exactly like this one no difference so what I'm going to say is I'm going to say if the user type is admin or author so you know for or we have this pipeline and I can use again get allow is author you know is author is already written in our auth service provider here is author and is admin so i have written this one here now what it is going to do is it's going to check if the user type is either author or, or admin or author then it is going to re uh, uh, going to query 20 user from database and then return it back so this is going to work like that but if you are using git you have to import this one Either you just import it at the top or just put a slash here, put a slash here, it will work the same way. So now it should work for both user and admin. If I come here for now, just to show you either it is working or not, I will just inspect element going to the network tab. So far we did that, that only on the server side. If it means that if someone send a request to the server, it is going to give out the information to us so for now if i refresh this one listening to for the network of course it is not going to send any http request to the server because we blocked that in our javascript so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come to the user if i scroll down all the way down here here is the load data if i display yeah here is the load data we say if the current user is is admin then send the request otherwise do not send the request so how you do that in the front end we have is admin but we cannot write any other thing so what i can do is instead of is admin i am going to write another function let's say is admin or author something like this let me write or like this and now we can create this function in our git javascript file here if i come here i will duplicate this one and instead of user i will write this one no we have the function but inside this one i'm going to write an if statement if a statement is going to be exactly the same way as we have in php so it will return true something like this now what we are going to say 
we are going to check the user type here so first of all and we say if the user type is equal to admin and in JavaScript also we have or or the user type is equal to author something like this now this is going to return true if the user type is either admin or author so I will save it this time and coming here we will save this file also let's wait for the compiler yeah it compile our file and now let's go to our application and see if this is going to send the HTTP request or not so I will hard load the application my computer has become so slow I don't know why so it is going to send the HTTP request now let's see if this is successful yeah this is successful the user type is author and it is going to return the current user info the not only current all user information the only remaining part is 404 page the, because we all of course we know that what is wrong uh, here we have used this one here oops what is uh going to write here copy this function and come here for the admin write it here and for the 404 again write something like this now it is going to check either the user is admin or author and then it will decide like if this component for admin is for admin and author you can write this function you can use this function again you can come to the get and write another of them let's say one you write for let me duplicate this one duplicate this one and you say it this one is for author and user and you say is author or user you say either the user type is author or user it is going to return true for that one so now you can use this function whenever you have a component and you want to display that only for user and author this is rarely like admin can see everything but this is just the example I hope you get the idea how I'm writing this stuff so now we have you know in our front end you can write another function in the back end if you want to restrict this one all you can do is you can use get allow or get deny you can deny something if you don't want the user to do something just deny and it will uh, block them of course if I go to the documentation here we have them uh, allow and deny what else we have it if I refresh it for now it should work just fine but to make sure that yeah we should have the user information yeah we have the user information but if I change the user type to the user from okay not this one yeah this is author admin 3 the authenticated user if I come here and change it to a standard user update it it just update we don't have the information anymore if I refresh the page it should show as a 404 because this is a user here that's why the, the user do not have access to this area of, of our application so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and i will try to answer them but feel free to google them uh, as well because most of the time you are getting uh, an error which is not related to what we did wrong so what you can do is you can just do a little googling and then if you could not solve the problem you can just come in below the video and i will help you and so let's quickly change the user type to admin for now and if i refresh this what else remaining in our application so because i want to change my operating system so i have to finish this series then i will start something like maybe some tips and tricks about laravel and more stuff like this so what else we have we do not have pagination pagination is what we do in the next videos so yeah i think that is for pagination as well as we have another thing social media login like how you can log in using your gmail your uh, maybe facebook github any any of those we can use the laravel social aid for that one but that is uh, basic stuff still i will cover them so i hope this series help you guys um, learn something new and i hope to for me also when i teach people i learn a lot uh, by teaching and I really get inspired by your nice comments when you post and you say these are informative stuff so i hope it helped people so see you in the next video